This is my 1966 Ford Falcon Futura Sports Coupe. Bought this car in uh, 1997. The original intent was just to be a daily driver, uh, and it was for the first three years or so. Uh, Year-round daily driver, no carpet, no other stripping, just an old beater. Uh, but as with any old car, you start nickel and diamond it together, and I ended up having a, <clears throat> a decent amount of work into it, and then had a pretty nasty little accident, and had to commit to either fix it or destroy it. At the time, I had another 66, so I basically made the two cars into one good one. And uh, it took, I don't know, eight years, nine years to, to get it to the point where it's at now. I still consider it a daily driver, though I certainly don't take it out in the snow anymore. It definitely gets parked in the winter because I got too much money into the, the bumpers and such to have them get destroyed again. It was redone. Uh, the original intent was to paint it a two-tone green with this uh, <clears throat> light kiwi green metallic roof and uh, rims. And I was going to paint the body, not an original dark green, but a very nice deep jewel green, which is actually still visible in the jams, though I'm not sure it will show up in the video so well. But that was the original intent. And uh, along the process of doing this car, uh, I decided just to put the whole thing into black primer one day just to make it all one color again. And I loved the look so much that I ended up uh, committing to finishing it with a satin black. Although instead of with going with a primer, I actually painted it uh, PPG DBC 9700 black base coat with PPG, uh, what's it called, 2060, I think, uh, satin clear. And uh, I have another video on YouTube of the exhaust, and I had some inquiries to show off more of the car, so that's what this video is for. It placed in class in the 2006 Indy Nationals, though that usually isn't uh, a big concern of mine, but it did feel nice having just completed it that year. The interior was also redone using a, a dye version of the light kiwi green and black on all the door panels. Tops of the doors and dash and everything was done in the same automotive paint as the exterior. Seats were found in a junkyard but not in their original car so I had them redone in uh, half cloth, half vinyl, black. Added all the seat belts and you know all the door weather stripping and didn't want to drop the money into replating all the dash pieces, so I went ahead and removed them all and painted them in silver and satin black, which provides a pretty original look uh, without the cost. All the door handles and window cranks were replaced. They're starting to actually repop a lot of this uh, 66 stuff, which for a long time they did not. So it's kind of nice. There's still a long way to go, and they don't make much in the line of body panels, but the a, a previous owner had cut a hole in the dash for the CD player. I would have never done this, but with the hole already there, I went ahead and left it with the CD player. Installed a different one, but, you know, installed some of these things like seat belt warning lights and stuff that are the, they're not hooked up, but the, uh, the flasher, which I relocated from the glove box to under the dash here, uh, that does work. Uh, all the heater box and everything was removed and restored individually. This car was actually gutted down to an empty shell. No windows, no body panels, just quarter panels and roof. Uh, so all the firewall insulating pad was replaced. And it's one of those things that as long as it's a part, you know, go ahead and do it right as you can. But without getting carried away, I still want it to be a daily had put some little four inch speakers into the kick panel, some six by nines in the rear. The dash was a chore. That's a pretty hard piece to find for you 66 owners. You know what I'm talking about. So I ended up taking my, an old original dash and I actually just overhauled it uh, using fiberglass and stuff and basically refinishing it the way that you would the outside of a body, only finishing it off with a vinyl die instead of painting it. New sill plates. But most of the most of the trim and stuff on it's actually 
still original and, and far from perfect. You know, there's rust pitting a little bit here and there on some of the trim. Rear window still doesn't have any trim on it as I intend to remove the rear window and replace the headliner again. When I first did the headliner, I did it in this, uh, they call it moonscape or something like that. But now that the whole interior is done in black and green, I'd like to replace that with black. So I'm not putting the rear window trim on it because rear windows have to come out on these to put the headliner in. I, uh, I downgraded it, although I consider it an upgrade, from the Sport Coupe deck lid, which has the long, narrow piece of trim all the way across the center, to a Club Coupe deck lid, which just has the Falcon lettering, which I just think is a lot cleaner, and, uh, you know, I'm proud of the fact that it's a Falcon, and the, the Sport Coupe trim doesn't say that, it just says uh, Futura. I want people to know what it is when they're behind me. I'm tired of being an ass if, if it's a Galaxy. Named it Horus. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It'll make sense. Nothing like the tail light on a 60s car. I got lucky and found NOS lenses and chrome bezels with the reverse lights uh, as an assembled unit for only 10 bucks. That was a, a major score. So I scuffed and clear coated the tail lights, give them a deep gloss and a, a lifetime of protection. Right now it's running uh, factory sport coupe hubcaps, although. I tend to remove those sometime and just go for the green steely look. Uh, I have the rocker trim for it and the wheel well trim, but I don't have the clips to put it on and that has proved to be a difficult hunt. One day I'd like to put those back on. There's the Futura badging. I actually would prefer that that say Falcon, but decided to stick with the original. I have the Falcon script, but decided to leave the Futuras on. Uh, I had paid a guy to come out and pinstripe it and was uh, not happy with the results, so I uh, removed all of his and uh, painted it on myself, putting a, a falcon bird at the leading edge of the green pinstriping, which is uh, brushed on, not, not vinyl. Put the lazy eyes on it, which I think just really finishes off a classic car look. This is a straight six car. Hold on just a second. And because, as I said, it is a daily, I don't want to, I don't really want to do a V8 transplant. I'm pretty happy with the straight 6 200. Incredibly reliable engine and uh, not murderous on the gas. Though I did add the hooker headers, which again you can see in my other videos. Which uh, is a true, it's a split header system that goes into two flow masters. Yeah, that give it a heck of a sound for a straight 6. People often ask me, what do you have in that thing? And I tell them, you wouldn't believe me. They think it's because it's something big. And boy, are they surprised when they open the hood. The trunk's finished off pretty decent too, but it's full of crap, so I'm not going to open that up right now. But I redid the filler neck and all that stuff as well. And as long as we're making the video, I'll... So that's my 66 Falcon. I know it's not the most popular of the Falcon breed. Uh, people always tell me what I should do to it. Needs different rims, needs different this, different that. But overall, I kept a very stock appearance other than the satin paint and the headers. I happen to really like the body style on these cars. And uh, I, I don't feel that they need, I don't think that they, I think it speaks for itself. I don't think it needs all that extra. It's a very clean, straight-lined car, post-fin era, just a very simple, clean car that just simply didn't take off because being a 66, Ford happened to come out with a car called the Mustang that year, which uh, pretty much spelled the end for Falcon. But if it wasn't for Falcon, Mustang would have never been, as Falcon was the test bed for all of what became the Mustang. Hope you enjoy it. Leave comments. Good or bad, I can handle it.